Hey everyone, welcome back. In part 1 we created this character, so if you haven't seen that yet, I recommend checking it out first. You can find it linked at the top of the video or I have also added the link in the description. In this part we will animate the face using shape keys, a simple but powerful way to create facial expressions in Blender. I originally planned to include bone controls here too, but that would have made the video too long. So I decided to split it into part 3, where we will use bones to control the face and shape keys for even better animation. With that said, let's get started. Select the face and go to the object data properties. Here you will see the vertex groups we created in part 1. Now we are going to create our shape keys in this section. So select the plus button to create a new shape key. Blender automatically creates a basic shape key. This stores the default shape of the model as it is right now. We can't edit or apply changes directly to the base key. Let's create a new shape key for adjustments and rename it closing mouse. Set the value to 1. This means any changes we make to the face in edit mode will be applied to this shape key. Now go to edit mode, deselect everything and select the mouse shape vertex group or manually select the verts. Scale them down on the z-axis until the mouse is closed. Switch to object mode to review your work. Next, deselect everything and select the lower lip vertex group. Move it slightly forward on the y-axis until it aligns with the upper lip. Now it's perfectly aligned. You can check this by adjusting the value in the shape key tab. Set the value to 0. Now let's create another shape key and rename it opening mouse. Set the value to 1, then go to edit mode. Deselect everything and select the mouse shape vertex group. Scale it up on the z axis to open the mouse. Now select the upper lip and middle mouse control vertex group then move it apart on the z-axis. Now select middle mouse control vertex group and scale it down on the x-axis. Adjust the mouse shape by moving each vertex. Hide the teeth temporarily to see how the opening looks. When satisfied, unhide the teeth, but we will align them with the mouse later. Now let's check this with the value slider. Next, let's work on the smile shape key. Set the value to 1, then go to edit mode. Deselect everything and select the middle mouse control. Hold shift and select the words I will select. And move them upward on the z-axis slightly to create a smile. Now deselect everything and fine-tune the smile by adjusting individual words. Switch the value to 1 for both closing mouse and smile shape keys. This will mix both poses, but the lips overlap. So select the smile shape key, leave the value as it is for both, and go to edit mode. Select the words I will select now. Then move them apart slightly. Switch to object mode and check the result. It's not perfectly closed in the middle, so go back to edit mode. Pull the middle verse down a bit and adjust until the smile looks just right.
check the shape keys and set both values to 0 for now. Next add another shape key for angry. Set the value to 1. Go to edit mode and select the middle mouse control vertex group. Hold the shift and select the words I will choose now. Pull them down and move them slightly backward on the Y axis. Pull the front verts apart and adjust the upper lip verts down on the Z axis. It may not look angry just yet, but once we add the eye and eyebrow poses, it will look more intense. Adjust as needed. Check it with the value and it should work fine. For the O shape key, drag the value to 1, then go to edit mode. Deselect everything and select the mouse shape. Scale it down on the X axis until you get the O shape. Right click, go to loop tools and select circle to give the words a rounded shape. Adjust it along the Y axis as needed and check in object mode. Now let's move to the eyes. Add a new shape key and rename it closing eye. Set the value to 1, then go to edit mode, deselect everything and select the upper eyelid vertex group. You may notice extra verts in here selected. So select the remove button on the vertex group and manually deselect those extra verts. Then Click assign button on the vertex group. Now deselect everything, then select the upper eyelid again. Then select the lower eyelid vertex group. Scale them down on the Z axis until the lower eyelid reaches the middle of the eye. Then select the upper eyelid. For symmetry, turn on mirror for only the X axis. Move the upper eyelid vertex slightly forward along the Y and X axis. and down to close the eye and adjust as needed switch to object mode and check the result you can adjust the eye shape more if needed Then check with the shape key value. Next, create another shape key for the lower eyelid. Set the value to 1. Go to edit mode, deselect everything and select only the lower eyelid. Pull it up on the Z axis until it reaches the middle of the eye. Fine tune it then check it with the shape key value. Finally, add the last shape key for the upper eyelid. Set the value to 1, go to edit mode, deselect everything and select only the upper eyelid. And then pull it down to the middle on the Z axis and drag it to front slightly. Ok, that looks weird, so press Ctrl Z until it goes back to its previous area. Ok, now press Alt Z to turn on X-ray, then hold Ctrl and deselect the words only inside. Do the same for this side or you can just deselect all of them for this side. Ok, now press Alt Z again to turn off the X-ray, then 
pull it down to the middle. Then drag it out on the Y axis and on the X axis. You can adjust it more as needed. Once happy with the position, switch back to object mode. Check the shape key and by changing the value and make sure it works properly. Let's turn the value to 1 for the lower one too to check if it closes well. Ok, it has a small gap so select one of them, I will select the upper one then go to edit mode. Now let's pull it down a little bit. Then go back to object mode and check it back. Ok, it closes well, you can adjust more if you want. Now set the value for both eyelid shape keys to 0 and we are done with the eyes. Now let's wrap up the shape keys. We have created 8 shape keys excluding the bases. Before we move to part 3, there are two final steps to finish this part. Separating the mirror objects and aligning the teeth to the mouse. Let's wrap those up now. Start by selecting the eyes. Go to the modifier tab and apply the mirror modifier. Do the same for the eyebrows. Then in edit mode select one vertex of the eyebrow. Then press L to select the linked vertex. And press P to separate the selection then choose selection. To separate the eyebrow into its own object. Repeat for the eye. Now both eyes and eyebrows are separate objects. Now select all the eye and eyebrow objects. Press Ctrl A, then hold Alt and apply rotation and scale. Repeat for location. Right click and go to set origin, then hold Alt and choose origin to geometry. Now all objects are properly set. Next select both these and enter side view by pressing 3. Move the teeth to the center and scale them up slightly on the z-axis. Rotate them a little on the x-axis to make them fit properly in the mouse. Adjust it a little bit to fit it in the mouse perfectly. Check that is alignment with the shape keys, adjusting for opening and smile. Make sure that is aligned with the mouse as the shape keys change. You can use wireframe or X-ray mode to get a better view. Finally, you can reorder the shape keys by moving them up or down. For example, moving the closing mouse shape key to the top will set it as the new base pose. Be aware that you can't control it using the value anymore. Move it back to its original place once then. Press 1 for front view, then select both these. Press Ctrl A, then hold Alt and select rotation and scale. Now do the same for the location. Then make a right click, go to set origin, then hold alt and select origin to geometry. And that's it, we have finished creating all the shape keys for the face, plus the final steps for separating and aligning the objects. This completes part 2 of animating the face with shape keys. Now you know how to animate facial expressions using shape keys. But we are not done yet, in part 3, we will take it even further by using bones to control everything and making the animation much easier and more flexible. I split this into two parts because adding bone controls here would make the video too long and overwhelming. So if you don't want to miss the next part make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Also if you haven't watched part 1 check it out to see how we created this character. See you in part 3.